Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome back to Dark Souls, I guess. This is episode something, like 15 or something. I uh, haven't done this in a bit. <clears throat> I've been moving, so I <clears throat> didn't have time to do it then, and then I just decided to wait until I got a microphone, which I hope it sounds good. Can you tell the difference? Does it sound good? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I hope it sounds good. But uh, I'm back to uh, my normal schedule now, so hopefully I'll be able to do it every day. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it now. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and start the DLC now after I drink some in the water. Ah, that's good. ASMR. Does it sound nice? ASMR and stuff. Oh, look at that big hand. I gotta like sit up stuff. I can sit up stuff. I gotta sit up straight now. It's like, uh, what's holding my phone is like very scuffed. <laughs> I um don't have the uh, thing that was holding out my phone before I moved so what's holding up my phone right now is um uh, it's holding it in the back is one of my weights and holding it in the front is my hand grip <laughs> that's what's holding it in place right now and it's on one of my boxes oh great <laughs> Go ahead and rest here. Okay. Well, let's see my posters up here. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna make a video about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you didn't know, I went to uh, AWA like two weeks ago, and uh, it was pretty cool. So I'll probably make a separate video just talking about that. Cause it was really fun. It was great. Um. But now we got the Sanctuary Guardian. One of the more forgettable bosses in my opinion, I'd say. It's like... You don't... It gets heavily overshadowed by the other bosses. Oh, In the uh, DLC. Like, because they're all like top tier. I gotta remember how to fight you now. You're gonna... What you doing? Oh man, I don't remember how to fight you at all. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Did that kill me? Oh, nope. Close though. Don't do it. You did it. Beep. Ah, well. That was great. Let's see, let me see if I can angle this up a bit and turn it a bit this way. Not used to using a, an actual microphone, so, and it only picks up, properly picks up audio from this side. This side, not this side. Sides and stuff. Um, let me go. <coughs> Sorry about that. I don't know how loud it is. I did a quick test on it last night and it was pretty good but let me see some lightning defense use that um yeah let me just pop on some uh, lightning defense and then over here what will help me out physical attacks that'll come in. that'll be good Okay. Let's go ahead and try it now. Okay. Yeah, it's so weird having to sit up straight and stuff. Oh man, I'm fat rolling. Oh, this is awful. 
Ow. Okay, well. You're doing a lot less damage to me, which is good. Oh, man. You stunlocked me there. Okay. Now I gotta get a time to heal. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, no, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you can dodge that, you can get in some good hits there. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow, I do some good damage. Oh, wow, that did a ton. Oh, man. Fat rolling is not the way to go. Oh, man. I really hope my sniffling isn't too loud. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't even... Yeah, it annoys me how you can't run sideways when you're locked onto something. I think you gotta roll into it. Ooh. And that it's still gonna get me. Oh, man. That's got such a wide range. Don't do it. Don't do it. And roll again. At least it doesn't stun lock you. What you doing? Okay, so he's got a little break right there. Oh, man. Ooh, I need the Havel's Ring. That would help a ton. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, I always hated fighting this guy. Let's see how much this does. Uh-oh. spaghetti -o. So I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Close, though. Come on, get up. Get up. Oh, I hate fighting this guy so much. Whoa, whoa what was that? Okay. Definitely doesn't get overshadowed by how difficult it is. Uh, do I have the Havel's Ring? Oh, please tell me I do. I don't. Um, let's take a... Oh, man. Here we go. I always hate fighting this guy. Especially in, man, in Dark Souls 3, when he's at Archdragon Peak. Oh, I hate fighting him. I always get so close, and then I get over-aggressive, and then he kills me. It's so annoying. I always get him down to such low health, and then bam, I die. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. I got this guy. Let's go. Dead. There we go. And then I'm right here. Hevel's Ring. Awesome. That's what I needed. Now. Oh, that was a voice crack. Oh. <laughs> now we can uh, go on back and fight the Sanctuary Guardian. Okay, so we gotta take a little run on over to the portal and take it over again. Because, yeah, in Dark Souls 3, uh, I'm so used to the armor not mattering. Because uh, in the Ringed City DLC, you get plus three rings. Like, plus three Havel's Ring and stuff like that. Don't remember the other ones. Oh, yeah. I, uh, there's plus three ring of... Seal Ring of Protection or whatever it's called. The one that protects you from... Uh, uh, physical damage. Yeah, there's those. And I have the plus three Havel's Ring, and it's, like, crazy. Because, like, uh, whatever armor I wear, it doesn't matter. Because it ups my equipment load so much. Uh, plus, uh, I usually go for lighter builds. No, no, no. I try to go for lighter builds. 
but I'm more of tank the damage, trade damage, and win kind of player. It's like I always say I'm gonna I'm gonna go a light build with a fast weapon so I get in more hits and then dodge and then get in hits but not do as much damage. But I always end up going uh, heavy armor that ups my poise so I don't get staggered when I get hit and then just tank the damage and trade it back. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, I beat the, uh, I tried so many different ways to beat the Soul of Cinder. And, um, what I finally ended up beating it with is, um, I don't remember what armor I was wearing. I think it was, uh, the lap armor that you get, uh, I don't know when. Uh, you get it by, like, something in the lap quest in the Ringed City DLC. Um, well, it sounds like school buses. Um, but yeah, that with a plus 10 Lothric Knight Sword. Uh, raw enchanted, I think. So it just ups the normal damage. Yeah, yeah. And since it has lightning damage on it, it, um, does more damage since it's super effective against the Soul Ascender. So, that's what I finally ended up beating him with. So how are my rolls now? Oh, that's great. Now it's just down to not taking as much damage. I might even have to kindle the bonfire. Give me ten Estus instead of five. Because I hate fighting this guy. Can you just run and avoid it? Yes. Okay. Let's see what you're doing. What you're doing. Who? Okay. Wait, can you cut off the tail? Who? Watch it. Oh, I, I thought he was going to do a... Uh, a... Uh, tail swipe. Ooh. Yeah, th I don't think you can cut off the tail. It's, it's always up. It might do, like, more damage or something. Come on, come on, give me it. Oh, that was so much damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Ye oh, man. Still got me. Ooh. And I didn't even get in some damage on it. Tactical retreat. Okay. Now what you doing? Yeet. Oh, nice. Ooh, one more of my charged attacks. And it'll like be good and stuff. Oh man, I thought oh okay, so it so if I'd like dodge to the side, I'll be good. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Stop running. Okay. Okay, one more. Ooh. Yo, chill. Chill, my guy. There we go. Ooh, that was risky. If he had attacked and gotten it before me, I probably would have died. Oh, there we go. See, I told you. I wasn't being bad. I was just fat rolling. Ah, okay. And a humanity, that's nice. Okay, so, um... Yeah, now we actually start the DLC. <laughs> Man, Artorius is such a good fight. My guy. Like, oh... Mm, I love that fight. <laughs> it's, like, so fair and so fun. I never find myself getting mad at it. Because it's all, if I die, it's always my fault. That's just, I mean, that's how Dark Souls is. But not warp. Uh, level. Can I level? Yeah, okay. 
Um, let's see. I'm probably over leveled for the DLC. Since you're probably supposed to start in like Although you you need to go to the Grand Archives, so I might be, maybe not. Um let's see, let me go for some endurance. Let's see, that gives me one strength. It gives me three. Well, I'll do that. How's my health? My health's fine. Because usually stamina is pretty key in the Artorias fight. That's how I spend my levels. I um like think, what's the next boss I'm going to be fighting? Yeah, I forgot uh, that she's down with Manus again. Godfather. Lucky I don't chop you up and put you in a stew. Yeah, like, she sells repair powder and that stuff, but, like, it's totally useless in Dark Souls 3. <sighs> yeah, because, like, nothing, durability doesn't matter in Dark Souls 3. Although, that could be my fault, because <laughs> I never stay in, like, one armor for more than an area or two. Because, yeah, like, in Dark Souls 3, I can never pick a set and stay with it. I don't know why. Oh, that was satisfying. Yeah, I usually find myself just running straight through this area to get to Artorias, because... It does have the uh, Guardian armor in it, which is a pretty good set. It's like... Not as good as the Havel set, but also not um, as heavy. But it's still it's high in all of its defenses, so it's pretty good to have. But like, meh. That reminded me. I use I usually have the uh, oh oh we got one of the big guys. Oh yeah, I, I hate fighting those guys. Um, that, yeah, that reminded me, I usually have the shadow armor, or the shadow garb, but I haven't found that this, this time. I'll have to, uh, look up where that is and get it off camera, because that's like my go-to set after this set, the golden hemmed set. Yeah, that's usually what I have for the queen fight. Usually it's, I'm just all decked out in the shadow garb for the Gwyn fight and Artorias fight is it's high enough in its defenses and low enough in its weight that you can wear it and still be defended and uh, not fat roll do we fight Calamite on the bridge oh yep I guess so hooey or does he fly away no Yeet, my dude. Oh, can you... Yes. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Have good time. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember, because... I, I know you did with, uh, Manus. Not Manus. Uh... Medir in Dark Souls 3. But I wasn't sure about Calamite. Ooh, ooh. Ring, ring. You're dead. Twinkling Titanite times two. Okay. Yeah, all I did was a quick little test for the microphone volume last night. And uh, that's all, so I'm not sure how good it sounds. 
but I hope it sounds good. Oh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, that's what you get in Dark Souls 3 to get into uh What's it called? Irithyll. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> well. Okay, I guess I'll just run back. Okay, well, we're back now. What, is it back here? Oh, ugh. Nope, he can have them. Oh, you guys are so annoying. And I don't one-shot them, that's sad. We good. It's so annoying because they blend into the environment. And you don't see them until they're, like, attacking you. And if they use one of their charged attacks, it does a ton of damage. Plus bleed. So it's it's not a fun time. Bye-bye. Have a good time. Don't do Don't fall. Good. Oh, nice. This is a piece of it, yeah? Helmet. Okay. I'll get all of it off camera. If I remember. But it's like, whatever. I probably won't use it anyway. Oh, yeah. See, he blended right in. Only saw him because he moved. Uh, is there anything back here? Yes. I don't think it's a piece of the armor. Yeah, mushroom. Isn't that, like, really good? Yeah, yeah. It's like, um... It's kind of like a divine blessing. Maybe you get one if you kill her. I mean, it's just ingredients for a stew. <laughs> don't fall, don't fall. Nice. Okay, well. Hmm. We venture onwards. Closer to the abyss. <clears throat> I just remembered how good his story is as well. Oh, it's such a good story, man. Oh, if you don't know his story and uh, want to know it, you can go to uh, the Dark Souls lore guy, Vati. Vati something. I don't know how to say the other part. Vati. Vidya. Or something like that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop following. He's touching me. Not ten He's touching me. Yeah, like, go to Vati Vidya and, uh, Prepare to Cry series and, uh, look at the, uh, Artorias video. It's heckin' amazing. There we go. You did? No. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and grab the moss. There we go. And another one. Round four. Fight... TKO. Um, yeah. It's it's a great video. It's great lore. You should watch it if you don't know the lore. Oh, well. He's just trimming the trees. I'll leave him be. Sake. These are my trees now. Uh-oh. Ooh. Is there another one? Yep, right over there. And two. There we go. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I totally forgot about Lucille Township. Oh, there's another big guy. And another one there. Oh, is that a crystal lizard? Yes, indeed. I probably shouldn't be that close. Um, although I see people sometimes talking like this close to the microphone. But, like, that's probably for uh, some, some sort of reason. But I'm not going to do that. Here we go. Did they see me? I thought I heard them on me. No. Oh, there's an item there. 
Oh, yep, they did see me. Um, I would like to avoid the, if possible. Leave me be. Yes. Ooh. Ha ha, not today. No, 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 not today. Goodbye. Magical elevator. Let's go. Ah, okay. Another great video by uh, Vati is the... Is it by him? I think it's by him. Is the uh, joint timeline of Bloodborne with Dark Souls. Which... <laughs> it's cool, because, like, look at this guy. Look at him. He's, like, Bloodborne and stuff. He prefers using a crossbow as well. No. Yes. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. We are both strangers in this strange land. I'm just strange. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay. Arrows. I'm not really a bow guy. Peace out. Let's go ahead and raise the bridge. Raise the bridge, raise the elevator. There we go. Uh, how long are we going? Alright, we got like 10 more minutes. About. Um, okay, so. There isn't a bonfire down here. No, no there isn't. Okay, let's see. What's, what's my gear? Um, no, nah, let me... Go lighter. There we go. How's this? That's pretty good. We'll give it a try or two. Okay, and... I mean, I don't know what else I would do this episode. Oh, cutscene. Oh, man. Oh man, it's so great. Just look at how cool he is. I'm geeking out over him. Oh, that reminds me. At uh, AWA, I saw a uh, Bloodborne cosplayer, which was really surprising because I didn't think I would see them. Because, like, I. That's not, like, the type of things I would expect to see at AWA. But it was an awesome cosplay. I'll, uh, I, I took pictures, so he'll, uh, the picture will be in my separate video for AWA. Look at that. All right, here we go. Let's go, my guy. Okay, what's this? Okay. Ooh, wee. I don't remember that attack. Okay, yeah, that I remember. What you doing? Let's go, my guy. Oh, too soon. At least I only got hit by one of it. Yo. Oh, not good. That's weird. For some of the attacks, it like. Hooey out. Oh, yo. Yeah, that was all my fault. I should have gone for two attacks. Ah, well. <laughs> the, the, the more you know. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Ah, oh, man. Um, yeah. Maybe, wait, let's see if she says something. Uh, now that I have her mushroom. I'm not struggling. 
Yeah. Oh, it's such good lore. Okay, well, uh, I want to save the uh, fight for a different episode. That being the next one, probably. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for being patient. We thank you for being patient with my absence. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Peace.